cybersecurity doesn't stop at the border. You know, you can't uh, operate in a vacuum. And so while we're a domestic focused agency, in order to really protect the homeland, it requires us to have relationships um, and experts and kind of ongoing active um, types of exchanges with international partners from around the world. Um, whether we're talking about nation states um, or terrorists, um, all of these folks don't just operate within the confines of their own borders. And so what we're experiencing, the lessons that we've learned, and different things that our allies have encountered um, really help all of us to bolster what we're doing. We work really closely on the international front with folks like the UK, um, across the European Union. We work through the State Department on a variety of different projects with countries like um, Vietnam, uh, countries in North Africa, um, and then on the international organization level, I think our closest partners are the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, um, Interpol, um, and then uh, the other member countries of the G7 Global Partnership Against the Spread of Weapons and Materials of Mass Destruction. And we provide a lot of our lessons learned to those who have actually experienced attacks um, or experienced kind of disasters that have opened their eyes, like the Beirut explosion, um, to the potentially very grave consequences of the materials that they have on site. CISA is kind of an emerging player in the international cybersecurity realm. Um, so we have a huge emphasis right now on ensuring that the work that we're doing, uh, the information that we're able to, and the expertise that we acquire, um, is able to be shared with our international allies.